Hello, and welcome to ShipU Stats. In this video, we're going to go over how to calculate a Chromebox Alpha in JAS. A Chromebox Alpha is a measure of internal reliability and is extremely important in the scale development process. Internal reliability is the degree of consistency between responses to items in a scale. For example, if we're measuring something like extroversion, a scale may ask something about partying as well as social events. For both of these items, we'd expect participants to answer consistently with those two items. Additionally, if we have another item that asks if they dislike parties, we'd expect them to answer in the opposite direction of these two items. If participants do not respond consistently across these items, this is an example of poor internal reliability and the sign of a poor measurement tool. Good internal reliability alone does not signify that a scale is reliable, and there are many different ways of measuring internal reliability. However, this video is just going to focus on Chromebox Alpha. Chromebox Alpha values range from 1 to negative 1, with negative values generally indicating incorrect coding of your variables, such as a reverse-coded item that was not actually reverse-coded. Generally, researchers are hoping for higher Chromebox values, approaching 1. Values above 0.9 are generally preferred. However, values very close to 1, above 0.95, may signal some kind of redundancy in your scale. Generally, values below 0.7 are considered unacceptable. All right, let's go over to JASP and learn how to run a Chromebox Alpha. All right, now that we're here in JASP, you'll see that we have all of our data for our particular scale here. In this case, this scale is the Beck's Depression Inventory, which is a 21-item scale that measures depression. To go ahead and calculate a Chromebox Alpha, we'll go ahead and click on this Reliability module up here. If this Reliability module doesn't appear for you, go ahead and click on the Show Modules button here on the right, and you can go ahead and select Reliability here. Once we select Reliability, we'll go ahead and click on Unidimensional Reliability. Once we've done that, you'll notice that we have our Chromebox Alpha right here, as well as a confidence interval for that Chromebox Alpha. However, I want to draw your attention to this note here, where it says that some items are negatively correlated with the scale, item 16 and item 18. That's because in Beck's Depression Inventory, these two items are reverse-coded items. What reverse coding means is that they are worded in a negative way, and we have to flip them before we run any analyses. To do this, you can go ahead and look at video 113 here at ShipU Stats, which will go over how to do that. However, if you don't want to actually go through the process of reverse coding it, you can still run a reliability analysis in JASP by selecting the reverse scaled items here. This little option down here allows us to run just this analysis with these items reverse scaled. Note that this change has not been made in your actual data set. So we'll go ahead and move over our items. And you'll notice that our Chromebox Alpha has changed up here. You'll also notice that that note is gone now. JASP has gone through that process just for this analysis, so you don't have to. Before we go over how to write up our Chromebox Alpha in APA format, let's look at some of the other options that we have here in JASP. The first option here is the Chromebox Alpha if item dropped. If we select this, we'll get this table here. This table will tell us the Chromebox Alpha with each one of these items individually removed. So this first line right here tells us the Chromebox Alpha if this item was not included in the calculation. Here, all of these items are relatively the same, and that's a good thing. That means that generally, all of these items should be included in our scale. However, if one of these items in particular had a much higher Chromebox Alpha with one of these particular items missing, it would suggest that that item is not consistent with all of the other items in our scale, and it might be useful to remove it from our scale. We can also select some other items here. The item rest correlation will tell us the correlation between that particular item and the rest of the scale. And then we also have our means and standard deviations for each of those items. All right, let's go ahead and look at how we can write this up in APA format. To write up a Chromebox Alpha in APA format, all we really have to do is write a sentence that conveys what we're discussing and then report that particular statistic. So in this particular situation, we have Beck's depression inventory had acceptable internal consistency. And then I reported that alpha level with a lowercase Greek alpha 
and the actual statistic of our Chromebox Alpha in parentheses right here. You'll notice that I've rounded it to the second decimal place, and that's all we really have to do to write our Chromebox Alpha up in APA format. All right, thanks for watching this video on how to conduct a Chromebox Alpha in Jasp.